Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and welcome to Kayla Creates. So it's been a minute. I'm sorry guys. The memory card that I've been filming on decided to stop working so I lost two videos that I had pre-filmed and I was going to edit while I was moving but it decided not to work. So here I am in my new place. I am in the spare room so there's lots of random stuff around here. I'm hoping to get a background at some point so it's not as distracting with the messiness behind me and I apologize for that already but I just really wanted to sit down and do a little makeup tutorial slash review of a product that a company reached out to me to ask for me to try. I'm going to get started. Okay so I usually start out with my brows. As always I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. And I'm gonna use the Anastasia brow brush as well. Okay, so that is one brow. I'm gonna do the other one off camera, clean up underneath, and I will be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. Um, I cleaned up underneath them with some tarp shape tape. Um, and then next I'm going to go on to my eyeballs. Honestly, I have no idea what I plan on doing today, <laughs> but when do I ever? <laughs> I'm just gonna start out with my Inkla eye primer, as always, an angled brush. I am going out later. It's like a friends going away party, so... Can't be anything too crazy. I don't even know what palette I want to use. I'm going to start out with using my Shan XO The Remix palette um, by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to start out with the shade up here called Clarity. It's their pale, nudie color. I really like how much it cuts out all color from my eye. So I don't have super pigmented eyelids, but they're there. Um, next, I'm going to go in with a fluffy blender brush from Bond and Hyde. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Buttercup. Good transition crease shade. I'm just going to pop it all over my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade up here called Bestie. Just pop that into the crease to cool it down a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Stalker, this red shade right here. Same blender brush. Just try and keep it a little bit lower. And then for the outer corners, I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's called Vampette. So I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. And then I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie. This was my favorite product for like a whole year. Um, it's my Naked Cosmetics um, pigment. It's in the shade Desert Sunset. It's a beautiful, I, I wouldn't call it rose gold color. Look how pretty that is. So how I use it personally is I just get a flat synthetic brush. I wet it with some setting spray. And then I dab it onto my lid. Look how pretty that is! And I like that it doesn't cover the color completely. It just blends in with it. 
it's so pretty. Just look how pretty that looks. And then I'm just gonna do winged eyeliner, of course. I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. You guys tell I haven't done my makeup in weeks. Can't do my liner. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean up everything and hopefully even everything out and then I will be back for my face. Okay, so I am back. Everything's hopefully cleaned up, a little bit more symmetrical. Still struggling a bit today, it's fine. I'm just gonna prime my face with my Cover FX um, blurring primer. Um, this is currently my favorite. I feel like it just makes my forehead look super smooth. And then for foundation today, I am gonna be using my ColourPop foundation. Um, I have the shade Light 75. It's a little bit dark on me, so I use it sparingly. I'm just too broke to buy another one. And then for concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Canel. And then for setting powder, as always, I'm using my RCMA powder. I'm just tapping it into here. I always seem to get this everywhere. It's the one thing I have to say about it that's bad, is that it gets everywhere. I wish there was a better bottle. What's even next? I don't even know. I, it's been so long since I've done my makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Hoola Bronzer from Benefit, just to give myself a little bit more dimension back. I don't fully contour anymore. I just haven't been in the habit lately. I've just been bronzing my face. I think it's just a summertime thing. I like to just look glowy and tan, I guess, rather than like cut and angular. I don't know. Um, the next thing though is highlighter, and I don't know which highlighter to use. Actually, I have an idea. I'm going to use this pigment as my highlighter today. Oh, maybe that's a bad idea. That's really glittery. Oh no. Oh my god, I used too much. Ah, you guys are learning with me, it's fine. Who needs blush when you have a ton of rose gold pigment on your face? looks really nice. It looks a lot nicer in person. Sunlight is washing me out. It's fine. Focusing in on all my imperfections. I am in such a weird mood. I haven't filmed in so long. I don't even know how to do this anymore. And then to finish up my eyes for today, I'm gonna go in with that Vampette shade again with my little pencil brush and just line that under my eyes. Give myself that really smoky look. And then next I just use a setting spray. Um, so I'm using my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And then on to the actual review of this video. I'm sorry if this video is like 10,000 years long. I'm super talkative because I haven't done a video in weeks. So this is reviewing my Azerado. Azerado, I think it's pronounced, and I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it. Um, Azerado Lashes. This company reached out to me a uh, probably over a month ago. Um, asking me if I'd like to try their lashes um, and they gave me a pretty good discount on them to try them out and review them so I thought I might as well do it um, so I got only one pair um, and I got the style in Hollywood they're pretty big and bold I didn't think about it that much when I got them I'm not a big lash person so so they have directions on the back which is kind of cool so it doesn't come with glue or anything like that so I'm just gonna use my duo 
lash glue. I just use the clear one. So the band is pretty thick, if you can see that. I personally like it when my bands are thick because it makes it really easy to apply. So I have pretty big eyes, so typically I don't really need to trim lashes. Those look pretty good. I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. So the only weird thing is, is that this band has a little thing sticking up from it. Do you see that? I don't really know. I'm gonna trim it off, but I think that's supposed to be there. No! The one thing I have trouble with with lashes is I always put way too much glue on them. I let that glue dry, but I guess I did it. Oh, I think I got lash glue in my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to just fill it in with some of my Unlashed Mascara by Wander Beauty. I love this stuff. I feel like this just makes it really all blend together. I feel like this looks so bad. So I'm not the best at application, but I think these look pretty good. I definitely could get them a little bit lower in my corners over here, which would make, probably make them look even better. They're super bold. <laughs> They're also really cute. Okay, and then to uh, finish off this look, finally, I'm going to do my lips. And then for lips today, I'm gonna be using um, Beauty Creations Longwear Matte Lip Gloss, even though I hate the name matte lip gloss it's the opposite of each other but I love this stuff um, it's in the shade 24 kiss me but this stuff lasts forever forever like I put this on my lips and it lasts all night and that never happens with me and it smells really good too it smells like candy totally uneven. I never realized this before. My natural lips are uneven. Okay, and then this is the final look. Um, as for the review of the lashes, these, these are really nice. They actually look, I wouldn't say natural because they obviously, nobody's lashes are this big, but I think they look really nice. I really like how thick the band is because I, it made me be able to apply them super easily. I didn't have to really struggle with everything bending incorrectly. The only problem I had was I messed up the glue and that was only, that was my own fault. Um, and yeah, I really like how spiky and bold they look. I'm super excited to take pictures with this. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited with how this turned out. I'm really excited for anyone else to see it, even though I'm probably not going out until like 10 and it's 5. Well, I hope that you guys all liked this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you have any more recommendations of what you think I should do, leave a comment down below. And if you like me, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And I hope to see you guys again next time. I'm really hoping to upload regularly again. I was trying to do it every Friday and, and Monday, but it's not working. Hopefully now that I'm done moving, I'm gonna have regular days off again. Hopefully I will be able to upload regularly, except for when I'm on vacation. <laughs> All right, I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.